Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm doing like a weekend in the life kind of thing this weekend. It is my one of my friends Bryce's, who is my boyfriend's brother. It's his birthday tonight. So we are going up to the Sunshine Coast to go and see him. And then we're going to go out for dinner. And we're staying in a hotel on the coast tonight, which I am super excited for. It's going to be so nice. So I just thought I would bring you guys with me for the night. And maybe we'll go out to breakfast for a walk on the beach tomorrow. I've just finished my makeup. I'm just waiting for Troy to get home. It's Saturday, but he had to work today. Um, so, but he should, he's only doing a half day, so it's 12.30 now, he should be home around 1-ish. I'll show you my outfit. So this is my outfit. I've got no shoes on at the moment, but, um, bag is from Princess Polly, and this outfit is from Princess Polly as well. It's just this cute black two-piece, and I got it in the mail yesterday, and I was like, Please fit, please fit, please fit, because two pieces never fit me. I'm usually a six in tops and a four in bottoms. But I got a size four and everything, everything's fitting perfectly. Hi! What are you doing? What are you doing? You're so handsome. This is, all right, better mirror to show you guys. I think I'm going to wear my black boots with it oh did you hear my tummy then i really need to eat something i'm starving i want something filling but i can't eat anything messy because i've done my makeup all right beef stroganoff looks gross but i promise it tastes incredible who's that can you see yourself I'm also going to have a Powerade. I genuinely can't remember the last time I had a Powerade when I wasn't hungover. I just really feel like one. I don't know why, but I always have these when I'm hungover and they work like magic. Like they make me feel so much better, but I just kind of feel like one today. Do you know what irks me beyond belief? People that don't reset the microwave once it hits one, they just leave it there. Don't be that person. Ow! Up my toe. So it's beef strong enough, basically just like mushrooms, rice, and a bit of beef, obviously. Well, I think babysitting's going well. I'm just gonna pack my bag. So this is the bag, this is my overnight bag that I pretty much take everywhere with me. It's DKNY, or as Troy likes to call it, Donkey. Troy's on his way home. I think we're going to go out for brekkie tomorrow with a few of his friends um, and their girlfriends who I love so much. They're like the best people in the world. So I'm going to pack my makeup as well then for tomorrow. So fun news. Um, I haven't announced this to anyone. I've barely even told any of my friends yet. I'm sure some of you saw on Instagram that I announced a business that my family and myself are working on called Team Coastal. And it's basically holiday homes located around like Sunshine Coast, Brisbane, Gold Coast. When we go away, we always take our dog with us. But anywhere that is a nice place that is big enough to fit a whole family doesn't usually allow pets which is really frustrating because we don't like leaving our dog behind mum had the idea of buying a penthouse in Malula Bar that kind of just fell into our laps and so she bought that and she is renovating it into a holiday home where you're allowed your pets as well so I announced that business I was going to be running a section of it and I was going to be running all the social media of it and the more we did for this house the more we fell in love with it a couple of weeks ago mum was like how would you feel if we were to move there 
this isn't officially confirmed but i think in july we're moving back to the sunshine coast and we're gonna live in it for a while obviously until troy and i buy our house so if you guys didn't know, Troy and I actually live with my family at the moment because we are saving to buy our house, which we were thinking June, July this year, we would have our deposit together and be ready to buy our house and go from there. We are incredibly, incredibly fortunate that my family is in the position that we can live with them and not have to worry about rent or bills or anything like that. And I know how lucky we are to be in that position. When my mom left my dad, when I was young, we had nothing. It was just me and my mum for years and she had to decide between buying me baby formula or paying the electricity bill. We had absolutely nothing. Neither my mum nor my stepdad came from a family of wealth by any means and they both individually built themselves up to where they are now. They are two of the smartest, most grateful, kind people I know. So I hope it doesn't come across as stuck up at all when I'm talking about my family because I really don't mean it to come across like that. I'm just so incredibly proud of what they've done. Troy and my priority was to be up on the Sunshine Coast by mid this year. We, all of our friends are up there, Most, a lot of my work commitments are up there. Our main goal was just being on the coast this year. And now that my mom and my family are looking to move to the coast in July, then we are able to live with them for a little bit longer and save a bit more money and get maybe a nicer house than we would have had the opportunity to get before. So yeah, that's really exciting. There's some massive renovations going on with it. So I'm definitely going to take you guys along on those renovations. The reason we can't move into it now is because there's quite a bit of renovation happening and I'm so excited for the final result. I just wanted to jump on here and you guys be the first to know that I am so excited that we're moving back to the Sunshine Coast in July and I think it's going to make for some cool moving videos as well which I'm so excited for. I love watching moving vlogs and I'm so excited to be telling you guys about it and I can't wait for you guys to follow along on the journey and I obviously just want to put a little disclaimer that I hope this doesn't come across as braggy. I would never, ever, ever intentionally try to come across that way. And I just want to put out there that I am so incredibly grateful for what the opportunities that my mum and my stepdad have provided to me and my brothers and my boyfriend. I wish you guys could meet them in person and just see how incredibly nice amazing people they are because you would just wish the world for them as well so yeah i'm really excited for that and i just thought i'd add this in here because i know it's going to be a short vlog so i thought i'd put a little little chit chat conversation thing in here so we'll pack a hairbrush some deodorant need my perfume this is my current favorite this is the ysl I can't remember what it's called, but it's a new one from YSL. I am so in love with this. It smells incredible. I have never gotten so many compliments when wearing a perfume than when I wear this. Well, please ignore my nails. I don't even want to talk about it. All right, I'm just going to sit down and pack my makeup for tomorrow. This is going to take me a minute because I like to make sure that everything is not going to leak. So I'm just going to do that and then I will be back on the vlog. Hi. What do, YouTube? Good I don't want to focus on you. So I just wanted to show you guys what my management, the best management ever, they sent me this box from Donut Time for Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh, literally the best agency ever. Thank you so much Neon and thank you Donut Time. I cannot wait to dig into these, these are going to be gone tonight, trust me. I was hoping to catch you naked. Are you going to put it in the vlog? Yeah. Say hey to the people. What do you two? We are just getting some ice. Bryce just called us and said that we he needs some ice. So, I got a four pack of these little Smirnoff little things. We've got our dinner reservation at 7.30, so it is 4 o'clock now, so we're just going to go in and I'm gonna have a couple of drinks and then we're gonna go to the hotel and go out for dinner.
They saying all goes the same, but I swear that you different If you tryna play a game, then I might try to win it I ain't saying I'm in love with you Okay, maybe I'm in love with you Could you be different? Could you be different from all the rest? The way that I'm feeling The way that I'm feeling is better than the best Cause I ain't ever felt like this before Girl, I swear I need you more and more Alrighty, hello vlog. So it is Monday today. I am, oh, I don't have any lipstick on as well. <laughs> Good one, Jamie. So it is Monday today. I am so sorry that I was so shit at vlogging over the weekend. Honestly, um, Saturday, as I mentioned previously, we went to Bryce's birthday party and then we went out to dinner afterwards which I think I filmed a little bit of that but then we had a few drinks at dinner and we decided to go back to Bryce's birthday party in the opposite direction our hotel was five minutes from the restaurant and we called an uber like 20 minutes in the other direction we ended up um, meeting a few people out we went to um, Coolin Beach Hotel which is just like a pub and we met a few people out and I had just far too much to drink. We got home pretty early. It was only like 12.30, I think, when we got back to the hotel. But I thought at the time I was doing really well because I felt sober. And then I woke up the next morning and I was like, what? Oh. So all day Sunday, I was incredibly hungover. I was throwing up till about mid, till about midday, probably about 12 o'clock. Um, and we had to drive an hour. Our check out was at 10, but we left at about 8 to go and have breakfast with some of our friends. And I had to excuse myself twice to go to the bathroom and throw up, and I couldn't even eat anything. So, yeah. I would have vlogged Sunday. I would have gotten more footage, but I don't think you guys would have wanted to see more footage. Um, especially on Sunday. It was not not good <laughs> having said all of that it was such a good night like i had so much fun the hotel room is gorgeous um yeah it was just good to see everyone so yeah it's monday today i think i'm actually going to finish the vlog here and i'm sorry i didn't get like a whole lot of footage but um i do want to get a vlog up for you guys so i think i'm going to finish this one here i'm filming a princess polly haul which is coming soon so keep your eye out for that one i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your week thank you so much for watching i promise the next vlog will be longer and we'll have more in it and i'll be a much better vlogger i'm gonna hold myself accountable for it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye